Russia has charged four men it says attacked a Moscow concert hall, killing at least 130 people. The men who showed signs of severe beatings all pleaded guilty at the court hearing in the Russian capital. They were charged with terrorism, which carries a life jail term. Russia observed a national day of mourning two days after the grisly attack on the Crocus City Hall. Events by cultural institutions were cancelled on Sunday. Flags were lowered to half-mast, whilst television entertainment and advertising were suspended. Search operations and clearing debris continue. As for the building, it is left with a collapsed roof and smouldering from the attack. As well as the deceased, more than 180 people were reportedly injured. Economic instability, high prices, shrinking social protection. Demand for a more social oriented Europe is rising across the EU, according to an exclusive Euronews Commission poll. It is the first survey of its kind to be carried out in 18 European countries. Polling by Ipsos and Euronews found the Portuguese are the most concerned by the rising cost of living. On average, 68% of Europeans want the EU to tackle price increases. Only 7% of the electorate say inflation is not a priority at all. Finns are the least worried about the cost of living. In a time of crisis, EU citizens say they feel impoverished. 64% of people want the EU to defend their social rights and reduce social inequalities. Only 8% would be against this. The Portuguese are on top again. The Poles, meanwhile, are less concerned. The third priority of voters is economic growth. 62% of respondents want EU legislators to implement measures to boost economic growth. Unemployment came in fourth just behind the fight against illegal immigration. The Dutch are the least inclined towards EU intervention to boost the economy. Social issues are not only priorities for left and centre left oriented voters. Moderates, conservatives, centrist liberals and right-wing voters are also demanding more social and economic intervention by Brussels compared to previous elections. A robust majority of the conservative ECR group and far-right ID group asked for measures against inflation. Still, when it comes to inequalities and social protection, the left is more demanding. The majority of the Grand Coalition voters are asking for more EU legislators' assertiveness when it comes to taking measures sparking economic growth. Social and economic issues are transpolitical concerns spanning left and right. The polls suggest that EU leaders could need to boost public spending, devise policies that reduce economic gaps and better protect rights to meet people's demands. Pro-Western diplomat Ivan Korchok has won the first round of Slovakia's presidential election with 42.5% of the vote. His lead over the second place, Peter Pellegrini, was more than five points. Pellegrini, a close ally of populist Prime Minister Robert Fico, was tipped as the favorite ahead of the vote. Asi rozdielom 5% zhruba. Hovorí to o tom, že spoločnosť je rozdelená a hovorí to o tom, že spoločnosť naozaj má obavy po nástupe vlády Roberta Fica po septembrových voľbách, že tie zmeny idú príliš rýchlo a príliš zlým smerom a jednoducho to heslo nemôžu mať všetko zabralo na veľkú časť voličov. As none of the candidates won a majority, the pair will face off in a second round on April 6. Poland has said a Russian cruise missile aimed at Ukraine briefly entered its airspace. It occurred as Russia targeted Lviv in western Ukraine near the Polish border with a raft of missiles and drones. Miejscowości Oserdu w województwie lubelskim, w województwie lubelskim i przebywał na terytorium naszego kraju przez 39 sekund. Wleciał w głąb naszego kraju na głębokość około 
tysiąca do dwóch tysięcy metrów. Przez cały czas obiekt był monitorowany przez polskie systemy radiolokacyjne. Multiple explosions were also reported in the Ukrainian capital Kyiv. There were no immediate reports of casualties or damage from the Russian attack. In the meantime, Lviv mayor said the missiles had targeted critical infrastructure. In an interview with Euronews, the president of Cyprus, Nikos Christodoulides, said that the maritime corridor between Gaza and Cyprus could be a model on how to distribute aid in a humanitarian crisis. Almost 200 tons of food aid has left for Gaza via Cyprus, launching the new maritime route. Είναι η πρώτη φορά μετά από 17 χρόνια που έρχεται ο ναυτικός αποκλεισμός της Γάζας από πλευράς του Ισραήλ μόνο για πλοία που φεύγουν. Από την Κύπρο. Χαίρομαι που οι συνάδελφοί μου στο Ευρωπαϊκό Συμβούλιο αναγνώρισαν την το ρόλο τη Κυπριακή Δημοκρατία και τη σημασία του ανθρωπιστικού διαδρόμου. Μπορεί να παίξει ρόλο στην ανακοδόμηση, για παράδειγμα, τη Γάζα. Η Αμάθη αποτελεί ένα πρότυπο, ένα παράδειγμα το οποίο μπορεί να εφαρμοστεί σε πολλέ των περιπτώσεων σε κρίσει που έχουμε στην περιοχή. Η aid was mostly collected by charity World Central Kitchen, funded by the UAE. The IDF has claimed to have killed 170 Hamas militants at the site of one of Gaza's largest hospitals, where heavy fighting continues. Israeli forces insist that Hamas fighters are sheltering there, a claim that Hamas has denied. Meanwhile, Saturday in Israel has become an annual day for anti-government protests. Demonstrations in Tel Aviv block key highways as protesters demand an immediate ceasefire in order to release the remaining hostages taken into Gaza. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for a ceasefire. Speaking from the Egyptian side of the border, not far from the southern city of Rafa, Guterres said Gaza was in desperate need of aid and that the collective punishment of the Palestinian people was unjustified. Drug trafficking-related violence is increasing in Brussels. Several shootings took place in February in the south of the Belgian capital, with one man killed in saint gilles Authorities say the violence is due to turf wars between gangs. There is a pressure on the police, because we are behind and we have these arrestations, there is a movement in the forces between the bands, C'est également une bataille pour regagner ou gagner du territoire pour les bandits. According to Tom Decourt, a criminology professor, the violence is caused by the authorities' war on drugs. The result of that strategy is that uh, new groups come in and larger uh, organized groups uh, fall apart in smaller networks which are all competing for a market share uh, in that very profitable business. And so we see more uh, groups and networks competing and using violence to uh, try and capture a, a share of the market. Local residents say that addiction can be seen in aspects of their daily life. Ce qu'on voit, c'est des gens en dépendance qui sont dans la rue, de, devant les portes des gens, des gens qui fument du crack, des dealers dans les parcs, dans, dans les camps de rue. Moi, j'attends des pouvoirs publics qui trouvent des solutions concrètes. Je suis pour la solidarité, je suis pour qu'on aide les gens à sortir de leur dépendance, mais en même temps, je suis aussi pour la sécurité. Some locals accuse authorities of being slow to act on the issue. Regional authorities have recently announced a new strategy to combat drug trafficking in Brussels, divided into three main approaches. Donc il y aura une réponse au niveau des services de sécurité, une réponse au niveau des acteurs de la prévention et aussi une réponse pour toutes ces questions infrastructurelles. Belgium is a drug trafficking hub in Europe with only 10% of drugs passing through the port of Antwerp seized. Although cocaine is imported mainly from Latin America, Belgium and the Netherlands are themselves producers of MDMA and amphetamines.
C'est un problème mondial, très compliqué à résoudre. Les différents niveaux de pouvoir doivent intervenir, donc aussi bien la commune que la région que le fédéral. Thousands of people regularly demonstrate against the FPO in Austria. The far-right party has led the polls for over a year. And now European elections and parliamentary elections are approaching. This is the party that the most hates, that our democracy is We are the Omas against the right. We must work together on a solution and not say that the immigration and the outsiders are out. Von vielen geächtet, von genauso vielen gewählt. Die FPÖ kritisiert die gestiegenen Lebenserhaltungskosten und die zuletzt eskalierende Gewalt auf den Straßen Wiens und bietet eine Proteststimme gegen die Regierung. With an economy in the doldrums, the EU-skeptic Freedom Party is swamped with voters. This has led to warnings that Europe must prepare itself for an isolated Austria. Also die FPÖ ist viel weniger enthusiastisch, was den Ukraine-Krieg angeht und auch viel positiver über, über Orban zu sprechen. Das heißt, es wäre auch eine Umorientierung von Österreich im internationalen Bereich, wobei auch da sehr stark es davon abhängt, was die Partnerparteien der FPÖ zulassen. According to the polls, the FPÖ will win both the European elections in June and the parliamentary elections in autumn. Austria's future chancellor will probably not be an easy partner for Brussels.